Okay, g'day guys. A lot of you have been asking what Pluspec does and if it's a appropriate tool for you. I'm using SketchUp 14 Pro here. You can use it in Make and you can use it in SketchUp 8 and SketchUp 13 Free and Pro. Okay, what is Pluspec? It's a tool that will allow you to draw walls, roofs, floors, or construction, windows, doors, the whole lot very, very quickly and easily. You can go through and you can type in uh, your name uh, so that you can actually make a job according to what it is you might want to do uh, I'm just going to put one in here for the moment guys because I don't think this is important uh, we can do an estimate from the job after it's drawn we can scale individual items without affecting the rest of the model put floors in, walls in, windows, doors uh, posts, roofs, stairs create scenes is a very powerful tool I'll show you a, fair bit, a little bit more on this uh, shortly grids sometimes I, I like to draw over a grid uh, we've got a purge tool so if you start putting things in and deleting them you can take them all out to make the model run more efficiently we've got a library of uh, products that you can actually put in that have been drawn to scale and have can be quantified and if you wanted to draw something yourself whatever it may be a custom item you can then click on this button and then you can write in more information but let's get down to what it is as I said we've got a grid tool very simple and easy to use you can type in how big you want the grid to be or you can just drag and drop it uh, now we've, I'll go and grab a wall okay inside of the wall you can choose a whole heap of different types of walls uh, I haven't loaded this before guys so the first time it loads it might do this for a second okay now okay Okay, you can choose the type of wall, the height of the wall, the height of the windows inside of the wall, the construction method, the materials and everything. I'm not going to go into that right now. I've chosen a brick veneer wall. It's 2700 high. If you were to use Imperial, you would simply start with an Imperial template. I'm going to draw a simple rectangle. Nothing too flash. Okay, you'll notice that it drew a wall with a cavity down the inside. Uh, it put insulation in there, it put a whole heap of things more than you could probably expect. I'm going to quickly stick a window in. Uh, let's choose a type of window, say just a normal sliding window. Submit. You can type in the, you notice down here we've got measurements from the end of the wall. Uh, so if I typed in say 1000 and clicked enter, it's gone from a meter from the end of the wall and it's come back here and you can type in the, the width of the window. Okay, now I have a 1200 wide window a meter off the internal wall. Okay, uh, I can go around this side, I can put a door in. Uh, there's a whole heap of different types of doors inside of here, swinging doors. Let's say we go, say a swinging external door. You can type in the measurements that you want to. 820 is a standard size door in Australia, but you might want to do it in Imperial. You can just write in feet and inches, whatever's easiest. Okay, uh, now put say I don't know, another type of door in here so I put the bifold door first in the list all the way across here okay now everything that I've drawn in here is actually dynamic so if you want to move the wall around or the window around it'll all move with it you can open and close them you can go and look inside you can do a whole heap of things with that probably one thing that's really powerful and saves you a lot of time is being able to move the walls around. So let's move this one around. You can type in the distance you want to move it around or you can just click on it and click where the location you want it to go. That's what's handy about a grid. You can split a wall. Split. Uh, so I want to split it there and I wanted to split it say here. And push enter. Okay now I have three walls. I want to start to pull those around or mold them. I guess like you would with standard SketchUp it will move those walls around okay uh, we can keep on going and creating more and more I think it's all about showing you what it does do so uh, this tool I mentioned before generates a scene this is a very powerful tool you click it you can select how many type, different types of scenes that you want to create or just all I'm going to click all so you can see what's going on move that away and up here you'll notice now I have all of my elevations uh, and sections so it's created a section for you, you just move it to where you want it to be and you have now your sections um, uh, you can look at all 
that's with the structure line. You can look at it with the structure off, so you notice you don't see your stud works. Or you can just look at the framework. You can zoom in. You'll notice that it's creating uh, heads over top of the windows, under studs. So much information is getting done here. It's all on the right layers. When I started, there wasn't a layer in here. As I'm drawing, it's layering the model up for you. It's putting the right scenes in according to the style. Um, Insulation can be chosen from inside of these boxes. You can change individual walls. So if, I guess if I want to show you, Jay, say just this wall, and I want to change the insulation and the brick type on this wall, go back to the wall tool. Uh, go into your materials, and you can change the insulation, say to an R2.0, and we can change, say, the brick just on this particular wall, or you can change all walls in one go if you want to. Um, if I scroll down here, you'll notice that the colors are changing here. I think that one looks like a good one. I'm going to push Enter. It changed the insulation to R2.0. But if I look at the external, it also changed the brick type on the external. So now we've got a whole heap of information. And everything is parametric. Everything can be changed around. These windows here, we can delete a window very quickly. We can... Uh, add a different type of window in or you can edit a window that you've already put in say I wanted to go say a stack a window okay go back to the frame and have a look at what it did you put a different size frame in there we can change the timber types I could go on and on guys but I'm gonna make this short so you don't uh, get too carried away with it let's go and look. I'm just gonna go to internal and I'm going to put a roof on it now there's several different types of roofs and the new roof tool uh, and make it a 25 degree roof hip roof you don't have to stick to the walls you can draw in or outside of the walls uh, basically trace over the walls there's a new roof tool guys that's coming I'm going to go outside of this one here just to show you um, the new roof tool coming that's even so much better than this tool okay let's go and have a look at all of that okay so now we've got a roof let's go and look at our floor plan Okay, that's cool. Ooh, let's change the door type around, or the, the way that the door swings. Everything's sketched is ready to go straight into layout. Um, things open and close. Things just work. Now it's going to save a lot of time. These are some cool things with drawing and designing. You can see that you could quickly mold a house uh, very easily, but that's all fair and good. But what about quantifying? I won't put a slab and things in, guys. It's pretty straightforward and it's something you can see in the tutorials. I'm going to do a takeoff from this particular model. So, all I'm going to do is simply click here. And what will come up is a takeoff. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here's a takeoff that I did inside of the model. So, you've got termite barriers, windows, a whole heap of things. Um, you can go through these, you'll notice they're all numbered and layered. Close that down. Um, and the quantities are all from what's been drawn inside the model. So I hope that helps out, guys. Um, there's a lot more to it. There's 35 tutorials that will go through that are really easy to find. It's simple to use, so yeah, good luck. Hope it answers a few questions. Cheers.